um, is a video of what's coming up. This is I'm going to be talking about the final portfolio here. And this is, uh, if I remember, it's a decent part of your grade. Um, I want to make sure that you are prepared. Um, yeah, so here it is right here. I'm looking at the syllabus. Oh, this is an older syllabus, but it should be the same thing. Let me get the new one up. Well, this may not be the newest one. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, so final portfolio, portfolio is 10% of your grade. So this is kind of, this is a big deal. Um, and uh, let me just mention a few things in here, or emphasize a few things. You can read through it, but this is work that you want to show me or to, to anyone the very best work you've done in this class, okay? Um, uh, so here, this is one point I want to bring up. Your very best should, pieces should be at the beginning. That's your best piece. That So you know how that, that saying of a first impression, you never have a second chance to make a first impression. Well, this is it. This is your first impression and is your best, is your first piece. So make it the best one you have. And then your second to best piece should be your last one. Um, and that's because when, when I or anyone leaves your portfolio, they want to have a, a good memory of what they just left. They don't want to keep decreasing, you know, they don't, we want we don't want to see your best, second best, third best. And then, so when we leave, we're like, oh boy, we're going in a bad direction here. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, try to mix up. So don't show like three portraits in a row, unless you're a portrait artist. Um, try to mix up your styles, mix up lights and darks. Really keep our interest as viewers. Really try to keep our interest. Um, so this is what this is what I'm after. Um, wonderful thing is that two students have posted their final portfolio now. So the good thing about that is they can change it. I'm going to go over them over two full portfolios and make some comments on them. Um, these are the only two that are have been posted at this point, but I'm going to go through them. This is Amon's. Thank you, Amon. Um, I really think this is a nice image. I'm the the wrist looks goofy to me. Um, it looks like it looks like there. I would I might try doing the same thing, but reshooting that position of the wrist a few times, just as a thought. Um, I like everything else about it. And maybe you can't recreate it, so let's maybe we leave it alone, but that would be my my one complaint. Okay, I do like this one. Um, oh, so that's our first best, and this should be our very... Okay, so I don't think this is your second best. I think like this one is up there really high. I think this one's really, really nice. I might keep this one up there, and I probably wouldn't... You could maybe put these two next to each other. Seems like you had a third one of them that was just powerful and strong of this of this um, this person, and I would um, try to. I, I think three is a magic number as well, right? So these are nice. Those two are really good. Um, this one is really nice as well. I'm I'm I really like that. So this one I would try to blur this background a bit more. Um, it seems really distracting, this line and the shape here. So I would try to do that. I mean, you can go into Photoshop, select this area, um, and then there's a blur tool that you can try scrubbing over it and see if you can blur it a bit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> these are nice. Um, it, there's some nice shapes going on. I don't think it's one of your best, but it's, it's nice. Um, Let's see. Yeah, this is okay. Um, I feel like pulling like one of these shoes out and just really exploring that one shoe, top, side, bottom. You know, not that you're trying to get a, uh, a commercial look because these are used shoes and it's going to come out different and, and not like a commercial look. But, um, you know, anyway, uh, I, I might try to do that as... If you're shooting in the sh shooting shoes, which I think is fine, 
I have no problem with that. I would probably do a shoe portrait. Um, maybe take your worst shoe and then just try to look for all of the interesting things about it. Look for good angles, play around with it. And if you need me to look at anything and give comments, I am very happy to. Okay, so I'm going to the next one now. And this is a great piece to kick off. It's a little bit I mean, it's kind of abstract without a focal point. So that's my only concern. No focal point here. It just looks like a, a texture. I like it, but not sure if I'd lead off with it. This one's nice too. A lot of nice texture, very similar to the first one. So I can see why these are next to one another. Um, this is nice. Um, we feel like a third party kind of peeking in, seeing what's going on. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with that. This is a strong one. This is a strong piece. Um, I would probably get rid of this little slice over here. And that might be it. And so I think this definitely belongs in your final portfolio. I think this one does too. This is really, this is really, really fun. What I think is pretty funny about it is you have you know, older individual, like, and I can say that because I am and I have parents and everything. And I think I see this muscle milk and rock star on both sides of, of this um, older individual. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure about this one. I don't, I don't, I think it's an okay, I think it's a fine portrait, but it's not saying much where I feel like this has some more emotion in it. And maybe some humor with the things back and forth. And this looks like a, uh, someone working there. And that's it. Um, this one I probably wouldn't include. I think this edge is just way too tangent. Um, the, your main piece should be more in the middle of your shooting area. I, I wouldn't include that. This one's nice. I feel like this stack thing is a little odd. Um, I know you have a lot of these type of shots, so I would probably go for something else where it doesn't feel like this candle is sitting on top of the other one. I like this one. Um, my only complaint or issue, maybe you need to recrop it, right? Maybe you um, crop it up to here. I'm going to try to. Yeah, now that's that's kind of interesting there. Um, and you can play around with your cropping. It just feels like right here, this way, that. I'm looking for the middle of that flame and it's just not there and it's eluding and it's cropped out and I'm missing it. Okay, but I love all the textures and I and I wonder if a new crop would make more sense, like you know, something like this. Okay. And then um lastly, uh this should be your second strongest piece. I do not think this is. I um, I think there's you have a lot to choose from in here. I might go for another view of um, this portrait or another. I don't know if you have a series of these, um, but um, yeah, I would probably replace this one. I don't feel like it's one of the strongest. Okay, I really hope this helped um, the two folks that submitted, but also everyone to just talk about and to kind of discuss what we're after here. Um, I think it's fine to bounce between color and black and white, um, but mix it up, keep us interested. As we turn the page, as we go to the next photo, we don't want to bore the person by having a similar composition, a similar point of view, um, similar colors. So keep, keep it interesting and put some high quality stuff in there. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks guys.